New restaurants are coming to Carolina Forest as some others in the area are shutting their doors. News 13 Sally Walkup joins us live from Carolina Forest to tell us what issues restaurants are facing. Sally. Well, Bob and Megan, I've spoken to several restaurant employees here in Carolina Forest, and they all say they've been impacted by inflation and shortages. Despite these challenges, though, one locally owned restaurant is working to bring two new options to folks here on the Grand Strand. The director of operations at Tavern in the Forest, Drew Doss, says running a restaurant has become more difficult. The cost of food has gone up in some cases by specific items, 300% uh, or more. Um, you know, there's other things that have increased substantially, like the cost of labor, um, which in some cases is up nearly 100 percent. There are also supply chain issues. We can't reliably source ingredients that we typically use and kind of left scrambling, you know, to try to track those down or we're just not able to offer certain parts of our menu on certain days. Despite challenges, he says they are opening two locally owned restaurants, one next to Publix and another in the former Brother Shuckers location. The cost of building that out is probably double what it would have been five or six years ago. Doss says it's tough to navigate these challenges. And that doesn't include the staffing issues and trying to hire, you know, qualified, talented staff to come in and, and provide the level of service and, and food that our guests have come to expect from us at Tavern. He says no matter what, Maintaining this great guest experience is most important. We still have an expectation of quality that we've you know, come to be expected by our guests and we intend to deliver on that no matter what. But our, our reason for being here is for the local community. The restaurant that will be here in the Old Brother Shuckers is going to be an Italian restaurant set to open in September. And the one by the Publix will be a barbecue restaurant that they hope to have completed by early October. Reporting in Carolina Forest, Sally Walkup, News 13.